Hey guys, it's Justin. I uh, just wanted to do a short little personal uh, video today. Um, pretty much the point that I'm going to get at is uh, that whole New Year's resolution uh, thing that people talk about. Um, it really should not be referred to as a resolution. Uh, it definitely should be referred to more as New Year's goal. Um, I'll explain that as the video goes on, but uh, long story short, um, goals are much more uh, achievable. You can set them short term and long term. Um, unlike a resolution, it sounds like you're trying to fix something. Uh, granted, uh, a goal can also be something that you want to fix, but the word goal rather than resolution sounds much more achievable, um, like you actually uh, have your mind set on something to either better yourself, whether it's fixing something or starting something new. So anyways, I will get back to that, but um, basically over the last uh, four and five months, um, I have uh, kind of uh, had a few letdowns. I got this awesome career job. I thought it was going to be great uh, working as a uh, SSW at a hospital. Um, it was going to be a great job. Um, and then the letdown happened uh, where I thought it was uh, going to be um, doable, I guess. And it uh, unfortunately wasn't. I was not made out for the hospital environment. <laughs> um, so that really kind of got me thinking after about, um, it's been about three and a half years since I graduated uh, college. Um, I've worked at a couple different uh, jobs um, and uh, have enjoyed every minute of it. Um, and uh, the one that I currently work at seasonally, um, so far I'm going to go back for a third season. Uh, it's uh, working at a uh, motel uh, up north in a tourist destination. So I definitely uh, every year look forward to going and doing that job. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, uh, it was a bit of a letdown when I just wasn't cut out for my for that hospital job I got. Um, there's sometimes when you just need to think about what you want out of life and how to go and best achieve that. Um, for me, it was uh, for many years I didn't exactly know what I wanted to do with my life for like a career so to speak, um, and actually by working seasonally up home where I'm from, uh, the last four years that I've actually worked at um, mo uh, at motels, um, I actually ended up thinking, this is, I, I think I finally know this is what I want to do with my life, this is the career that I want to pursue, I want to pursue the travel and tourism industry because it's a job that I love doing. I love helping people and I love meeting people. Um, so, you know, it's kind of refreshing to now have a bit of a direction in life um, career wise uh, to actually follow and pursue. So definitely um, it. For everyone, it's not like it'll happen right away. Um, it'll take yourself a while to know what you want out of life, how to go about getting it, and then to actually achieve it. So, you know what? Hang with it, um, and just always try to continually improve yourself in order to get to that next step. So, I got thinking, you know, like... Um, what can I do to uh, um, kind of pump my spirits back up, uh, get feeling better, because I was feeling a little bit down. Um, as you may or may not know, I do have a bit of social anxiety. The last couple of years I've been working on it by getting out and doing more. Uh, so I ended up um, deciding that uh, <laughs> in, in December I kind of took a hard look at things and was like, um, what what can I do uh, to get myself more involved, get my self-confidence back up, and uh, get rid of this little bit of social anxiety that I have, um, or what's left of it? Uh, I think it'll always be there, but, uh, you know, um, 
I was a person that would never go out and actually do things without um, someone else that I knew going with me or going to things where I didn't know anyone. I would never do that um, just because I I didn't like going going places that I knew no knew no one. Um, so, anyways, the last uh, year I've actually been working on that. Uh, and uh it's actually coming along really well um and so uh i decided uh for that in this new year i would set um new year's short term and long term goals because a goal like i said earlier sounds much more achievable than a resolution if you kind of understand where i'm getting at uh so anyways um my short term goal was to revamp my personal image, um, uh, resume, uh, online, um, and just, uh, take all the positives that worked for me in my life and get rid of all the negatives. Um, now, uh, unfortunately that meant, you know, um, disconnecting some old friendships, um, and, uh, keeping some old ones and making some new ones. Um, so far, it's going really well. I feel much better. Um, I ended up uh, uh, deciding, you know what? Um, if there's something I want to do, just go and do it. What is holding me back? Um, basically, fear is your only limitation in life. Uh, so if you want to do something, go and do it. Um, I had personally never been... Uh, tubing in uh oh 14 15 years so i thought you know what what is really holding me back from going and doing that um no one was available to come with me so i was like you know what i'm just going to go do it myself it's um it's kind of that thing where uh forcing myself to get out amongst people i don't know and enjoying life to the full extent um why would you want to be shut in uh, waiting until someone else could go with you to go and do something that you really want to do. So anyways, I went, did that. I had an absolute blast. It was, it was the, probably one of the best things I've done in many years, just for personal satisfaction that I went out, I did it on my own. I had a lot of fun. Um, you guys can actually take a look at the video. I'll link it right here. Um, and down in the description there. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a blast. Um, and I definitely do it again in a heartbeat. Um, I met some people while I was out there, had a nice, uh, chat, raced, uh, one of them. Uh, so that was, uh, fun actually. Um, so anyways, uh, ended up, <clears throat> uh, doing that. And, uh, I, in, I think it was, uh, November, um, I, uh, I'm a member of, uh, of our, of our local Y, um, and I went to a few, um, uh, group classes there, uh, that's actually what kind of started getting me out and about, and realizing that you just need to live life, and your only limitation is your own fear, uh, so anyways, uh, after doing that for about a year, um, they had a couple other, like, drop-in, um, sessions for volleyball when I was in school. I, I actually enjoyed that. I'm not a big sports person, uh, but I, I actually enjoyed, uh, playing volleyball. Um, one that I can, that I'm actually kind of good at. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I ended up, um, uh, going for several drop-in sessions of volleyball at our Y and ended up uh, meeting quite a few people um, and in, very much enjoying myself. So I thought in December, I wonder if there's, you know, a, a, the, the one at the Y was getting um, extremely unstructured. Uh, there was a lot of people coming in and out, and it was hard for me to actually follow the game and enjoy it. I was spending more time figuring out what in the world was going on. So I thought to myself, is there some league in London that's a fun league, non-competitive, that I can go and join? Um, since I was actually really enjoying it, and I like, I, I'm starting to really like getting out and doing things uh, on my own more now in the last six 
months to a year than I've ever uh, felt like. Um, so anyways, uh, I ended up researching a couple of uh, things and uh, went and uh, made a decision on joining a uh, fun league here in London. Uh, it actually starts on Monday, um, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to meeting new people, making new friends. Um, as I said earlier, uh, actually, I might have not, I, I, I kind of addressed it earlier about, you know, dropping the negativity in life and embracing the positive. And so anyways, um, that's going to be a huge positive. I'm, uh, the one thing I, I've learned in life, um, the people you meet and the connections you make are so so invaluable um they uh you, you never know who you're going to meet who they know and what connections they have or what they've done or learned in life that can actually help you on your road in life um so anyways uh i also thought to myself as a as a long-term goal because i um I want to definitely work on getting out more socially, uh, since I'm not used to it, as well as I'm really bad at, like, public speaking or, um, as you can tell in this video, um, 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 there will be a little bit of that. I'm, I'm trying to get over that. <laughs> uh, so part of the thing was, is, um, I decided to make this YouTube channel and making little videos like this to try and help myself on the whole public speaking thing um because i definitely want to get <laughs> get better i want to improve myself um <laughs> there we go again uh i can only in life you can only get better and you can only get better by trying if if you never try you'll never succeed um that that I, I can't remember that old saying, but it goes it goes along the lines of that, where if you don't try, you won't succeed. Uh, but um, understand that if you try and you don't succeed, don't feel bad because you would have never known if you could do it until you actually tried. It. So you know what? Um, uh, just kind of going over everything, I would definitely say. Um, uh, don't be afraid to express yourself to the world. Uh, if you have personal challenges, try and overcome them. Uh, think of ways that you know that you might be able to overcome them and then put yourself in that type of situation. Kind of like how I was um, not... I was not a person to go out in social situations, so I forced myself by joining the Y and going out to group classes. Yes, it was very, very uncomfortable for the first, like, month, because I was out of my element, but um, I ended up talking to people, they talked to me, and so at least every week that I went back, I could recognize new faces and, you know, talk to them and feel more comfortable in that uh, setting. Um, and that I started to enjoy volleyball. I thought, you know what, I want to get out more, so how can I achieve this? And in order to achieve it, the way that I felt that I wanted to do it would be to actually join somewhat of a structured, non-competitive league. So I forced myself to go and join. And now every day that I'm thinking, oh, this is actually going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. It kind of pushes out that um, social anxiety of meeting new people. Uh, and again, when you meet new people, you never know the connections that they have or how it could help you in life just talking to them and throwing back I and forth ideas with them. Um, also, uh, Find like-minded people uh, and surround yourself with them. That is a huge thing in order to improve yourself, I feel. Um, you know, kind of going back to near the start of this video when I said uh, I personally need to drop the negatives in life, but keep the positives from my past and bring them forward into um, how I was redesigning myself. So anyways, uh, I... Um, 
one thing was I I surrounded myself with uh, some people that just I didn't feel had the same ambitions and goals in life as I did. Um, they were really great friends otherwise, but it just I wanted to surround myself with more people that uh, had the same goals and ambitions as I did. Um, but granted, everyone is different. So, you know, it's not like you try to find one person with everything the exact same. You want to have some variety um, so that you can learn from them and they can learn from you. Uh, but definitely uh, find like-minded people and surround yourself with them. Uh, and definitely uh, keep keep that mindset. If If you don't like going out without other people or you don't go to places because you don't know anyone, the only limitation is your fear on that. So if you want to do it, go and do it. There's nothing holding you back. Just just do it. Uh, you'll you'll never know until you try. Um, and I think I've already said uh, you're you're only trapped by the limitations that you set. So if you set limitations for yourself, take a look at them and see. Uh, what positives in life that you have that uh, would help you overcome those limitations that you have set or that you think you've set. Um, but definitely, uh, you know, just try new things. Get out there. Force yourself to go, go out and do things that you're not normally comfortable with doing. Um, it will help you improve your self-esteem, self-confidence. Uh, get you out socially, get making new friends, uh, you'll network with a whole bunch of people that you'll never know, uh, it, it might help you down the road. Um, so anyways, uh, all of this in, in total has kind of came from a quote that I, uh, came across about a year and a half ago, um, and I've tried to kind of um base my my life around it cuz um I've had so many ups and downs in the last like 9 years um since moving down to uh uh London where I am right now um in in school whether you may or may not know uh I was bullied for uh 11 years so um I didn't have the greatest childhood so that's one reason I moved down to uh to London where I am um so and I've accomplished a lot um growing up and understanding and working in the real world at a very young age has given me a lot of life insights and so I really want to embrace all the good and drop all the negative the negative will only hold you back uh, so anyways, um, the quote that I, I personally found very effective to, um, kind of get me pumped up was, uh, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They already somehow know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. And that quote is uh, from Steve, Steve Jobs. Uh, that is um, a very, very uh, good quote. Um, and it, it makes a lot of sense personally. Uh, the whole um, don't be trapped by dogma, which is living on the results of other people's thinking, like, if you're trying to base your life around what other people are telling you you should be or shouldn't be, um, don't do that. You know, you're an individual. You need to live your life the way you want to live your life and um, with your own values and your own um, view on the world. It's That is totally natural. Uh, so don't live, uh, don't live your life um, from what other people... Are telling you that you should uh, and definitely follow follow your own heart and intuition if something tells you you know to do something go and do it 
if it's telling you not to do it, examine why it's telling you not to do it, and is it something that really you shouldn't do, or is it something that you have set a self-limitation on that you have a way of overcoming? So, anyways, I'm just going to end it here and uh, um, reiterate myself and say, don't be afraid to express yourself to the world and just get out and do what you want to do. You are an individual. Don't, don't, don't feel bad. Embrace your own life. Until next time, guys, best wishes in the new year, uh, and see you later.